Well, hello, Pisces. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your monthly intuitive tarot card reading for June 2024. Just a reminder here, Pisces, these are general readings. Take what resonates, that's what you're meant to hear, and leave the rest behind. But Pisces, let's just jump right into your reading. All right, each row here represents each week in the month. We're going to take a look at your tarot cards first. Then we'll go back and look at each week um, what the messages are. But first, before we do that, we are going to see what crystal is being suggested for you for the month. So what does Pisces need for June? What is the crystal for Pisces? And there we go. Oh, my goodness. Um, several... Uh, Several signs got garnet, commitment. Okay. First week, Major Arcana card, The Magician. Second week, you have the Two of Cups. Third week, Pisces, you have the Four of Cups. And the last week, you have the energy of the Ace of Swords coming in. Wow. Wow. Well, you are definitely kicking off the month. Uh, very strong energy of wanting to make something happen. So here in the first week, you have the Major Arcana card, The Magician. This is about having a specific thing that you want to manifest for yourself, a specific desire. You could have a, an idea, a vision, a direction you want to go in. And The Magician here on his table, he has everything. He has everything he's needed. So resources are available to you, Pisces, you know, for what you want to manifest. So what is it, Pisces, that um, you're thinking about? What do you want to accomplish? What direction you want to go in? This is um, having a vision, an idea, setting your intentions, and then taking some action. You know, the lemon escape above the magician's head, that is the symbol of infinity, you know, infinite possibilities. You have everything you need. There are resources available for, you know, like at your disposal. And the lemon escape is kind of like a fresh slate because it is after the end yet before the beginning. So it's that, that limbo energy, that time uh, where you've ended something, you're ready for the next thing. So right as we come into June, Pisces, um, you might have a vision, an idea, or um, wanting to go in a certain direction, or um, it could be in regards to relationships, your job, a project that you're working on, or a hobby that you're interested in. So definitely see you um, taking some kind of action to manifest what it is that you want. So you're, you know, you have to have intention and uh, take action in order to uh, make this change come about. Tea leaf message for the first week. Oh, fly, period of ill health, depression. Wow. Well, this is certainly a, a message in regards to um, your health and well-being. Um, primarily, when this card does show up, it's about reevaluating your lifestyle. That could be why you're manifesting a change. Let's clarify the week. Yeah, you're putting an end to something. You got the death card here, and it's also a major arcana card. So you are definitely putting an end to something that is not in your best interest here, Pisces. Um, that could be um, working overtime, um, you know, going above and beyond, having too much on your plate. Just essentially doing too much. So you're putting an end to feeling this way. Now, going into the second week, you have the Two of Cups. So really nice energy coming in. This could be in regards to new love coming in, a friendship coming in, uh, some kind of business partnership, possibly. Teaming up with someone is some kind of union uh, connection. 
and think about it. You've been uh, suggested to have garnet, which is about commitment. Now, the sacral chakra is your second chakra. That is where your, your hopes, your dreams, your desires reside. It's also a chakra that indicates change. So could be change coming in. So you need your strength. You need to be taking better care of yourself if that resonates with you, Pisces. Maybe just working too much. I'm picking up a lot of uh, workaholic energy. Go, go, go all the time. You know, it's all work, no play. So this is kind of a warning to um, take better care of yourself. And that could be what the death card's all about for you, Pisces. So by the second week, you've got some kind of bond or connection. This could also be in regards to yourself, making a commitment to yourself for your health and well-being. But some kind of partnership, some kind of connection, could be a spiritual connection for some of you. I love the, the two energy, very balanced energy, yin and yang energy. Getting yourself back on track, I feel, Pisces. Yeah, just picking up a strong work, work, work all the time. So you've got, um, you've got the means to manifest the change that you want. Tea leaf message, romance is in the air. Well, this is right above the two of cups. So if you are single, Pisces... Yeah, you could be meeting someone, someone uh, that'll either be, um, this says romance though, I was going to say, uh, could be someone that maybe starts out as a friendship, um, a colleague, I'm picking up for some Pisces, maybe a colleague ends up turning into something more, romance is in the air. Let's clarify, Ten of Pentacles, okay, um, yeah, it could be work-related, could be a colleague, personal, um, you know, like a, a partnership of some kind. Whoever you team up with, someone that you work with, Pisces, I'm picking up for some of you. But I love the Ten of Pentacles showing up. That is, um, that is security. That is, um, that can be, uh, something is very financially beneficial this partnership. Now, third week, four of cups energy. It's almost like um, something didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. You were missing the boat on something. This four energy is very stuck, stagnant energy. So something has got you... Um, I'm feeling that what's happening in the second week really kind of took you by surprise. You had definite plans. You 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 had a vision. And maybe what's happening for some of you, romance is in the air. You could be teaming up with someone. Now, it could be teaming up with someone, a partnership, um, maybe where you thought you were going to be doing it all alone, but you're teaming up with someone in regards to uh, something to do with work. And it can end up turning out to be something more. So this has caught you off by surprise. This is cups energy. So I feel that um, you're, you're really exploring how you're feeling about all of this, what has transpired in the first half of the month. You're looking at your security. You've got the garnet crystal here. This is in regards to commitment. So um, it looks like there is the start of a commitment here. Also a commitment to your health and well-being. Something's being presented to you and I feel like you're missing it. You're being warned about your health and well-being. Tea leaf message, time to act. Okay, don't stay in this frame of mind too long. It's okay to uh, remove yourself from the situation, maybe in regards to someone that you you know you're starting to feel, you're surprised you have feelings for this person because maybe it was strictly a platonic work partnership. So you're kind of like in the third week here, 
re-examining how you feel. And you're getting the message here, time to act, to move forward, act upon those feelings. Hangman, this is really looking at things from a different point of view, listening to your intuition, listening um, to what your heart says, your heart and your mind. The 12 numerology to this reduces down to three. So there is something that is coming together. Something's coming together. Financial benefit, romance, a change for the better for your health and well-being. This is a voluntary choice to see things differently. Time to act upon that. So here, with the Ace of Swords, this is an opportunity now showing up. Long time coming. This is something that seemed to take forever to come. And that could just be the course of the whole month because this is the last week where there is triumph. There's blessings. The odds are here. But we do have a great cloud. So it's kind of like things weren't exactly clear. And that's what you're doing right here. You're trying to figure it out. There's that same cloud. Look at this. Try, you know, examine your feelings, presenting the cup, examine your feelings, and then bringing in that ace of swords, the opportunity, triumph, because your message here is time to act. Time to act upon those feelings. What are you feeling? Act upon them. If you have feelings for someone, let them know. There's an opportunity here that was a long time coming. If you act upon it, you will be successful. Tea leaf message, rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you sh who you should not cross. Well, that actually could be anybody. That could be someone that you work with. That could be someone that might share their opinion about, uh, you know, if you're hooking up with someone. And um, step away from this person. Whatever this opportunity is with the Ace of Swords, it's a long time coming for you. You know, let's say you've been single for some time and you're hooking up with someone and it surprises you. It might be a colleague. It might be someone that you're working with that you didn't intend on uh, having feelings for. But the opportunity is there. And this person might put their two cents in. Could be your boss. Walk away. Don't address that energy. To clarify the week, you have the Hierophant. And this definitely could be you changing up your belief in things. Because you have the Hanged Man card here. This is really looking at things from a different point of view. And the Hierophant is about... You know, how you traditionally do things, handle things, your beliefs, your customs. Um, five is a very uh, difficult energy. It does indicate change coming in. And you've got an opportunity here. Long time coming. Blessings in disguise. Success. Triumph. So you could be going to someone for advice or... This could represent this rooster message here. A, a, a boastful person you should not cross. It's someone that might be in a position of authority. If that resonates with you, Pisces, yeah. Take the advice of this message here, this tea leaf message. Person you should not cross. Some kind of commitment coming in. For some of you, romance, there is a warning here about um, change your ways, your lifestyle maybe. Take better care of yourself. I'm picking up a, a workaholic kind of energy. But there is something very beneficial coming in. You're seeing things differently. You're acting upon how you're feeling here. And there is something coming in, long time coming, some kind of opportunity could be in regards to where you're living, what you do for a living, relationships, a project you're working on, and interests that you have. All right, Pisces, that's the energy for the month. Thank you so much for joining me. For personal readings, visit my website. But love and abundance to my Pisces family.